Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, amma ba'd. This is an informal review of what we've taken in our last class, class number 23, that which uh, has introduced one single issue for when you use fetha, a fetha as a sign of what? As a sign of khavd, khavd, the mahfud case. And it's only in one case. A fetha becomes a sign of khavd. In a special case, what's the base sign of khavd? The kesra. It's mahfud usually with kesra. That's called the alama asliya. How many different alamat are there for khavd? Three. What are they? Kesra. Kesra. Alif. The fetha. You know, alif. The fetha. So then, when is the kesra the sign for khavd? In what kind of words? Al ism al mufrad al munsarif. Jayyid. Like what? Example. Methil. Any jumla mufida. Kalam. Qul marartu. Marartu bi bayti Muhammadin. Marartu bi bayti Muhammadin. Tayyib, you got us two nice mufrad. Uh, nouns here. Be bayti, we got a kesar on it, and Muhammadin. So a'rib bayti. Mararatu bi bayti Muhammadin. A'rib bayti. Bayti ismun. Marfu'a, mansub, makhfud, majzum. Makhfud. Makhfud. Al kesra. Al zahira. Tayyib. A'rib Muhammadin. Mararatu bi bayti Muhammadin. A'rib Muhammadin. اسم مفرد مخفوض نايس وعلامة خفضه الكسرة الظاهرة that's it these are examples of كسرة uh, as a mo but there's also other words that you can use a كسرة for the مخفوض case not اسم مفرد what else there's a جمع which جمع جمع what مؤنث سالم you sure Umaran to be Muslimatin. Naam, ahsant. So jam mu'annaf salim. Where else can we put a kasra as a sign of it being makhfud? What about another kind of jam? Give me an example of jam mu'dakka salim with a kasra as a sign of being makhfud. I need an example for that one. جمع ذاك السالم مخفوض وعلامة خفضه الكسرة. No, that doesn't happen. طيب. جمع تكسير. Not any جمع تكسير, because جمع تكسير is two kinds. Just like the اسم المفرد is two kinds. منصرف and ممنوع من الصرف. جمع تكسير is منصرف and ممنوع من الصرف. So an example of a جمع تكسير منصرف. مررت. Use your default. مررت بجبال كثيرة نعم مررت بجبال so we've got جمع تكسير here جبال is the plural of جبل it's جمع تكسير it's not جمع أنت سالم it's not جمع مذكر سالم it's جمع تكسير and it's منصرف it's not like مفاتيح or مساجد صليت في مساجد كثيرة because that's جمع تكسير ممنوع من الصرف Based on yesterday's class, why is that one memnoom in a sarf? What's the illa? What's the reason for it being memnoom in a sarf? Masajida. Salaytu fi masajida kathiratin. Sigatu muntaha al jumu'ah. Taqumu maqam al illataini. That takes the place of two reasons. That by itself. Whatever comes on the scale of masajid, wa masabih. A fadil, a kabir, naam like that. Those scales, that's called sigat muntah al jumu'ah. They're jam'u taksir. They're jam'u, right? So they have to be one of three types of jam'u. Is it mu'anna salim? No. Is it mudhakkar salim? No. This is jam'u taksir. And these jam'u taksir are mamnu'u min asarf. The ones that come on the scale of masajid wa masabih wa afadil and so on. And the sign, remember yesterday, is the alif right in the middle of five letters? Yeah. Alif za'ida. 
right in the middle of five letters, the third of five letters. Or the Aleph as the third letter in a six-letter word. And the fifth letter is a Ya, like Mafati, Masabi. Yeah, so then we've got a different scale. But that's easy, very limited cases for the Sigat Muntah al Jumu. Otherwise, Jam'u Taksir is Munsaraf, usually, except for those special scales. So then we've got the Kesra is used as a sign of a word being Makhfud when that ism is. Jam'u taksir munsaraf, ism mufrad munsaraf, or jam'u annath salam. Those are the three occasions we studied that the kasra can be a can be used to show the makhfud case or the khavd case. Then the ya, it shows the makhfud case in how many occasions? Two? Well, yeah, but more. At least two. How many times is a ya a sign of being makhfud? Look at lesson 22. Just look at the text of Al-Ajr Rumiya right there. وَأَمَّا الْيَاءُ فَتَكُونُ عَلَامَةً لِلْخَفْضِ فِي ثَلَاثَةِ مَوَاضِعِ As for the ya, it's a sign of being makhfud in how many cases? Three. فِي الْأَسْمَاءِ الْخَمْسَةِ مَثْلِ يَنَفِيسُ <laughs> nice. So Abu Jahl here is called Abi Jahl because that's mutaf ilay. It's majroor or makhfud alamatu khafdihi alia. Abi Jahl. Tayyib. Wa fi tathniya. And in tathniya. Like what's a tathniya? Give me an example, Ya Jibreel. Tathniya. And here tathniya could be af'al, could be asma. Because there's a fa'il muthanna, there's an ism muthanna. But what's intended here? Ism. ism. How do you know that? He just says tathniya. Didn't he already introduce to you that there's no such thing as khavd in af'al? So then when he says tathniya, he means al-asma, tathniya al-asma. He doesn't have to say that. He's already given you what you should use to come to that conclusion. Okay, give me an example. Rajulaini. We need a yeah for the sign, right? This is when yeah is a sign of being makhfuf. So marar to be rajulaini. Right? Now the sign of it being makhfuf is not the kesr on the noon. It's not bi rajulaini with a kesr on the noon. That's the sign. The sign is the letter before the last one. It's the yeah. Because that's what changes. Hadani rajulani. Ja'a rajulani. There's an alif that changes to a yeah when the case changes. Ra'aytu rajulaini. وَمَرَرْتُ بِرَجُلَيْنِ وَهَذَانِ رَجُلَانِ So the thing that changes is the sign of your i'rab. Not the noon with a kasra that's always there. That can't be a sign of anything because it doesn't change. So then we have those two cases where the ya is a sign of being makhfud. What is it? Al-asma' al-khamsa. And what are all of the asma' al-khamsa? You remember this, Abdul Samad? Abuka. Wa? Wa akhuka. Wa Wafuka Wahamuki Wadumalin Wadumalin. Now, those are Al Asma Al Khamsa Abu Fulan, Ahu Fulan, Fu Fulan, Hamu Fulan, and Dumal, Du Fadlin, and so on. Tayyib. Those are Asma Al Khamsa. Then there's Tathniyat Al Asma. We just did that. Muslimain, Marad to be Muslimain. Third one. Where's the third case? في جمع المذكر سالم بارك الله فيك مثل that's مفعول به that's منسوب we want مجرور or مخفوض everything gotta be مضاف إليه مرار تو في مسجد المسلمين مرار تو بالمسلمين what's wrong with that yeah I passed by some Muslims مرار تو بقوم مسلمين yeah مسلمين uh, what's the Arab of Muslimin here? Muslimin, Ismun. Ismun. Makhfud. Makhfud. Khafdihi al Ya. Al Ya. Wa Khafdihi al Ya. Salam. The Ya here is it Alama Asliya or Alama Far'iya? It's Far'iya. So then you can add in your Arab. Wa Alama Khafdihi al Ya Uniyabatan al Kasra. 
because the alama al asliya is the kasra. Anytime you use an alama far'iyah, you can always add that phrase to be complete in your i'rab. Alama tu khavdihi alya niyabatan an al kasra. And then the fatha. The fatha is only one place where the fatha is a sign of khavd. And that's that big issue. That's the issue that the book stops and everyone focuses. And everyone farrat min qaswara. Everyone ran because they thought they saw a lion. And people were hiding in the bushes. The fatha is a sign of something being makhfud in huh, al-ism. Means what? what could you replace the word sarf with to give it its meaning? No, it's mahfud. It's not mamnu min al khafd. Mamnu min al tanween. The meaning of mamnu min al sarf is mamnu min al tanween. And it has some other additional things, but the main idea is these words can't take tanween. Now, they also can't take a kesra. That's why the fetha comes in here as the sign of mechvul in place of the kesra. Niyabatan al kesra. So we say, Hada umaru. Hada, or ismuhu, umaru. Yeah, ra'aytu, umara. Wa marantu bi umara. Na bi umari. There's no kasra for memnu min asarf, yeah, unless it's mudaf or has the alif lam on it, yeah, unless it's ma'rifa. So long as it remains nakira, there's no kasra on it. So you can't say bi umari, you can't say an aishati, you can't say an hafsati, you can't say an talhati, but you can say an talhata wa an aishata wa an hafsata wa an usamata, yeah. So here we have marar to bi umara. Marartu bi Umara. Begin the hadith with An Umar. You say An Umar radiyallahu anhu. Don't say An Umarin or An Umari. No, An Umara because it's Mamnu' min as sarf. Yeah, An Umara. So Umar comes as the sixth category of Mamnu' min as sarf based on why it's Mamnu' min as sarf. It's Al Alamiyya. It's a name along with Al Adal. It's on the scale of Fu'al. Al Adal is another word for, it's a synonym for Umar. Umar is Al Adal. Just and righteous. So Umar, what comes on the scale of Umar? Like Zufar, like Umar, like Mudar, like Rajabu Mudara. Yeah, the Rajab of Mudar. Not Mudarin, but Mudara. That's with the Dad, right? Mudar. So that's Alamiya with Adam. Then we discussed 12 categories yesterday. We're not going to go through them and repeat them, but I'll throw some ayat and I'll ask you to look at your notes. And Try to remember the category or the the sabab, the illa. Why is it memnu'a min asarf? So I'll give you a verse now. Afa hukma al jahiliyati yabghun. Stop me when you hear something memnu'a min asarf. Afa hukma al jahiliyati yabghun. Do they want the rule of jahiliya? Woman ahsanu min Allahi hukman li qawmin yuqinun. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ حُكْمًا Who's finer in verdict than Allah? لِقَوْمٍ يُقِنُونَ أحسن. The word أَحْسَن And it's not وَمَنْ أَحْسَنٌ But it's أَحْسَنُ Because of why. Why is the word أَحْسَنُ مَمْنُوعَ مِنَ الصَّارِفِ It's not a name. عَلَمِيَةَ means it's a name. This is not a proper name. So it's not one of the first six categories. Right away, go to seven and, and beyond. Wasfiyah. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't fair. Wasn't fair. Because ahsanu looks just like ahsana yuhsinu ihsanan. Looks like a fair. Ahsana. Remember, the reason why these nouns are treated with mamnu' min as sarfi rules is because from one angle or another they resemble verbs. So this one, ala wazni fi'lin. It is on the scale of a verb. It looks like a verb by its scale. So ahsanu, like that. Ahmadu, yazidu, like that. Hada yazidu, ra'aytu yazida, marartu bi yazida. Because yazid, yazid wa yanqus. It's a verb. But it's used as a name. Yazid is a name too. So because it, it actually is a verb being used as a name, it's memnu'a min asarf. 
So you found the Mamnu Amin Asarf in that verse. Let me give you another verse then. In verse number 184, listen to the whole verse. Tell me how many words are Mamnu Amin Asarf. It's more than one. Shahrul Ramadan, الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شاهد منكم الشهر فليصمه ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فإدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولا علكم تشكرون حمني شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى with a tanween هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شاهد منكم الشهر فليصمه ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخرى يريد الله بكم اليسر two just two and what are they Ramadan, Shahru Ramadan. That Ramadan, what's the Arab of Ramadan here? Yeah, Jibreel. Shahru Ramadan. Uh, Ismun. Ismun. Uh, Makhfud. Why is it Makhfud? Do you know? This is above what I would normally ask because we haven't studied the reasons why things are Makhfud. We haven't studied the, you know, the, the actual operations yet. Shahru Ramadan. What's that relationship called between the two nouns? Mudaf and Mudaf ilayh. Mudaf ilayh is majroor or makhfud. Yeah? Uh, so it's Shahru Ramadanin. If it wasn't Mamnu and Asarf, it's Mamnu and Asarf, so it's Shahru Ramadana. It doesn't take Tanween and it won't take a Kasra. So here we say, Ismun makhfudun wa alamatu khavdihi. We say, Al Kasra al Muqaddara. Al Fatha. The Fatha is the sign of it being makhfud here. Niyabatan an al kasra because the fatha is an alama far'iya. Niyaba an al alama al asliya. Ala wa hiya al kasra. So you say ismun makhfudun alama tu khafdihi al fatha al zahira niyabatan an al kasra. You can say li annahu mamnu'un min al sarf. Now you can say that too. If you want to, when we say this niyabatan, that means we're talking with all the details we can. That means we're stretching out our Arab. So yeah, you would say here in this case too, li annahu mamnu'un min al sarf. Tayyib. And what's the other one you said? Ukhar. Ukhar. A'rib. Ukhar. This one. Makhfud. Al fatha. الظاهرة نيابة عن الكسرة لأنه ممنوع من الصرف Why is أخر ممنوع من الصرف? It's وصفية first of all It's not an علمية It's وصفية It's a وصف of أيام What kind of أيام? أخر Other days What along with that Remember وصفية has a number of things that need a second إلا العدل نعم عمر أخر Nice It's not علمية and عدل but it's wasfiya and adan, ukhar. Like other words, thulath, ruba', khumas, even with the alif added in there, it's not actually umar. It's like umar. Yeah, thulath, ruba', khumas, sudas, like that. And those are mamnu' min as sarf as well. Barakallahu feekum. Then let me ask you, iqra, ya shaykh, Muhammad rasulullah Walladina. أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم. All right, that part alone right there. How many words do we have that are ممنوع من الصرف? Two. Now we have كلمة تانية. What are they? أشداء and رحماء. Why are these two words ممنوع من الصرف? What's the reason? Are they names? Is it علمية? So it's not علمية. It's وصفية. But here. We actually have the illa here is a standalone illa. We don't even need to say wasfiya. We just say because of this one illa that it has, that's sufficient for two illas. It's the alif memduda or alif maqsura, either one. Alif maqsura we said was our 11th category and alif memduda was our 12th category. And the alif maqsura and memduda here, the condition is that these are za'ida. 
They're not part of the word itself. The alif and the hamza, not like a sama'u. Sama'un, we use tanween on sama' because the hamza is part of the word, it's not za'ida. So when the alif and the hamza are za'ida, that's when it's mamnu' min as sarf. Like what words? Hamra min al humr. From redness. Hamra, bayla, all the colors like that. Sauda, bayla, khadra, safra, like that. All the colors, the feminine versions of the colors. They come with this alif mamduda. The alif mamduda means that which has the hamza after it. The alif and the hamza are both za'idatani. They are both additional. So we've got ruhama'u from a rahma. We've got the ra, the ha, and the meme, which is the asal. Then the alif and the hamza are additional letters, not part of the binya, not part of the original structure of the three letters. And the same thing with ashidda'. Ashidda' is from what three letters? From shadada, from shin, waddal, waddal, aslun, tulathi. So shadda, yashuddu, like that, he's shadid. And they are ashidda. So the alif and the hamza are za'idatani. For that reason, it's mamnu min al-sarf. Again, a word like sama'un is not mamnu min al-sarf because the hamza in the end of it is part of the sama. The alif is part of the word from a sumu. So the sama, the alif and the hamza are not both za'idatani. They're not both added. They're original letters. So then therefore this is not mamnu min al-sarf. The same verse, Muhammadun Rasulullah wa ladhina ma'ahu ashidda'u ala al-kuffari ruhama'u baynahum tarahum ruka'an sujjadan yabtaghuna fadlan min Allahi wa uridwan or wa ridwana That alif means there's a tanween with it. Wa ridwana wa ridwanan But didn't we say yesterday the words that end with alif noon? Isn't that a scale that is mamnu' min as-sarf? Illa. I told you guys yesterday, I said, when we learn these categories, there's all kinds of exceptions to each one. We had words like ghadban. Musa came back, ghadbana asifan. Ghadbana, not ghadbanan. Because that's wasfiya along with the scale. What's this here? This is ridwan. This is a mastar. This is just a mastar. Ridwan. So this is not wasfiya. It's not a wasf of anything. It's not rajul and ghadban. You can't say Rajul and Ridwan. You can't. You can say Rajul and Atshan, Rajul and Jo'an, Rajul and Ghadban, Rajul and Kedah. But Rajul and Ridwan? No. Ridwan is a, it's a thing. It's a mustar. So then because of that, it's not a wasf. It doesn't meet the criteria for our category. That's why it's Munsarif. That's why it's Ridwan and, and not Ridwan with just a fatha on it. Surah Al-Saf. With Qala Isa ibn Maryama. Ya Bani Israel. All right, we've got a bunch of them here. We've got a bunch of names. Wa iz qala Isa ibn Maryam Ya Bani Israel. All right, right there alone. How many names or how many words, names or otherwise, do we have that are mamnu' min as-sarf? Three. What are they? Name them. Isa. Isa. Maryam. And Israel. What do you say, uh, in the feast? You sure about Isa? Because no matter what way you write Isa, and no matter what case it is, marfu, mansub, or majur, it's always Isa. Musa wa Isa wa Kisra wa Bukhara wa Bahira. Five names in the Arabic language that are feminine names. Ta'nithan lavdiyan. Feminine names. They're categorized as feminine names because they have an alama of ta'nith. Like Hamza and Usama. Same thing. Hamza is the name of a man. No problem. But we're saying it's an ism mu'annath. The ta'nith is lovely. It's got a sign on it of ta'nith. It's the ta' marbuta at the end of it. Hamza. Likewise, Musa wa Isa wa Kisra wa Bukhara wa Bahira. You know what Kisra is, right? Kosrao. It's the name of the Persian kings. It's a title like Fir'aun and Qaisar. These aren't the names of individuals. It's a title of the king. So you have Fir'aun, you have Qaisar, you have Kisra. So then, in each case, it seems like it shouldn't even matter because what are you going to say? Everything is muqaddar. Everything is, you're pretending there's a Dhamma there or there's a Fatha or something else, right? So it doesn't accept Tanween, it doesn't accept anything. 
لتعذر. The reason why here that there is no sign ever written on it is التعذر. It's an alif. You can't put a haraka on an alif. So we say here, جاء عيسى. عيسى is فاعل. مرفوع. علامة رفعه الضمة المقدرة منع من ظهورها التعذر. That's how we do إعراب of it. If you don't want to talk about تعذر because that's a little bit above your level, you say جاء عيسى عيسى اسم مرفوع علامة رفعه الضمة المقدرة. Just put an imaginary ضمة on it. And don't worry about why it doesn't show up. Later on you'll understand منع من ظهوره التعذر. طيب the same thing with موسى. Now back to our verse. What's the verse? With قال عيسى ابن مريم. So then عيسى here is the فاعل. It's مرفوع علامة رفعه الضمة المقدرة. يا منع من ظهورها التعذر. ابن مريم. Right. Ibn is tabi. Then you have Maryama mudaf ilayh. Majroor or makhfood. Maryama. Why is Maryama mamnu min al sarf? Ya aba Maryama. Al alamiya. First illa is alamiya. And what else? A ta'neeth. Before you go to ajamiya. It's not wrong what you said, but it's easier to say ta'neeth. So it's Alami and Ta'neeth, Maryam. Every female name is like that. It's a name and it's female. Sumayyatu, not Sumayyatun. Because you got those two things in there. Alamiya and Ta'neeth. Easy. Ya Bani Israel. Bani Israela. Bani, the children of Israel. Mudaf ilayh, Israela. Mamnu min asarf. Why is Israel mamnu min asarf? Alamiya and Ajamiya, naam. And the meaning of Ajamiya is not that they're not Arabic names. It's that what? They're not mushtaqqa. They're not based on verbs. So what's the verb from Ismail or Israel? Asrawala. You could probably try to make an argument that Ismail and Israel and Israfil and all of those names, they're on Wazn Sigat al Jumu'ah, but you'd probably flop. And fail on that because they're not mushtaq, so they're, they don't have ozan, they don't have scales. Sounds like it should be memnum nasarf because of sigat muntah al jumu'ah. Two basic reasons why they're not. Number one, they're not mushtaqa aslan, so there's no original letters versus scaled letters. Original letters versus za'idah, the alif has to be za'idah in the middle. We don't know what the original letters would be to know if it's za'idah or not in the middle. And secondly, there's no jama, there's no meaning of jama. Israel is one man. His name was Ya'qub. Bani Israel, they're a group of people that are the children of Israel. Israel is one man. Today the word Israel has become used for the Jewish state. And the scholars remark that that's not allowed. You're not allowed to take the name of a prophet and use it for the name of a state of Jews. The name of that state should be called Dawla to Al-Yahud, something like that, the Jewish state, but not Israel. Israel is Munabi. The name Israel is the name of a prophet. Respected and honored, that name Israel has to be loved to every Muslim. You can't let the name Israel become a derogatory term or something. And people talking about, I hate Israel. Qatar Allah Israel and all of this. May Allah curse Israel. No, you can't say that. Israel is a name of a prophet. You can't ever let the name of a prophet become degraded like that. The name Israel, you have to have love and respect for it in your heart. Jazakumallah. I think we've. Oh, we've gone way over our time anyway. Zakum Allah khayran. We intended only 30 minutes. Hada wallahu a'lam wa salli lahumma wa sallim wa barik ala nabiyana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.